Hi, I'm Andy Cranston and this is my Modbus TCP debug utility. I start the Modbus debug utility by issuing the following command. I specify a host. I can connect to it. Now I'm going to specify function code 3 to read some registers. The address in hex and I want to eat, read eight of the registers. So this is what my packet looks like. These are the data bytes in the packet and more of a readable form following. Send that packet and we get some information back. If I show the packet again, it's the same, but we'll notice that the sequence has moved on one. So it's ready to send again. And we can see we've got some slightly different values here on the second read they're slightly different here those are, those actually point to a temperature sensor on a intelligent pdu now i can disconnect from this and then connect to another pdu device so we'll try that connect this time we'll do we'll read a coil so that's function code one address and I'm just interested in reading one coil. So we show that packet and if I send that packet we get the information, we've got one byte of information back and a zero one infers that the coil is switched on and if we have a look yes it's on there. So let's change it on the PDU, let's switch it off on the PDU and go back and send the command again and that comes back in at zero. Now what we can also do we can specify function code 5 to write the coil and so it's currently switched off. If I now specify a data pattern of OX FFOO, show that packet, that's going to write that coil. So we'll send it and we can see up here I've just turned it on by sending a Modbus packet and if I change the data to zero and send another packet it should switch it off again. So there we go, that's pretty good. So I can now quit the program. Does the program work on Windows? Uh, of course it does. So we run it, slightly different command line to get it started. So let's specify the same host. Function code five to write a coil, specify the address. And uh, it's currently set off, so let's specify the data pattern to switch on. Show it. Send it. Oh. Connect first, then send it. And we've switched it on. So there we go. A nice little handy debugging utility that works on Unix, Linux, and also on Windows. Thank you for watching. The code is available on the web link that's on the screen now.